Lord Yal. Back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate, but tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Where is Sigurd gone? Show me. Have a look, Sunan. There you are, brother. In the cemetery. His mood is dark. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid, unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past, it is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. 
I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Looks like I have a new letter. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. You look well. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So... What now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That will make my work easier. What say you then? I'll go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Ljuvina? 
When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunner about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunner is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunner away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunner has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. What have you got for me today? You done? I'll see you later, friend. Farewell, Eivor. This must be Jorvik. The Order of Ancients lurk in its streets and alleys. My old friends Jor and Juvina live here. Hey, friend. Could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Juvena. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm, bitter. Has Hjor wronged him somehow? Little one, can you help me? I am looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Juvina mean anything to you? Hmm... I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biamiland. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the Dotmaster, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. What about me? What about my... Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dog master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, Take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Luvina. You know Hjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? 
How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Amana, Pure, and Juvena have done well for themselves. I cannot wait for the Yuletide feast. Snow, wine. The third crate of mine taken this week, and with no explanation. Rules are rules, but I wish they would tell us why. Here, this is their home. The place has been ransacked, and this body, it's not your Olufna. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? Is this one of the thieves? The trail continues. Juvena. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Juvena. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help, on my honor. I'm sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where is your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. Shouldn't this be way. seen. Better be hooded. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Forgive my intrusion, but... She can't have gotten far. Look around. Let's go. Hey, I want to talk to you. Hey, what? Oh, they want you! Escape! Ah! take you. Use 
I do not see any others. Let's keep moving. This way. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richie is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The slush in the streets often drips. There's your. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret, but they failed. This is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names, our leads. Listen to her, Jor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafin. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Here, I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rissie. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farhavid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city. Targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. 
This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor... Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishie will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love... I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Jor has changed, softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. You've made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Dogmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I'll have another look around the harbor. Try the trade depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I'll try my luck there. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I'll return when I find something. This must be where Aldon shuffles the council papers. He 
she's not here. Hmm. I should look around. A pile of official scrolls stamped with a seal. Reeds, timber, food, wine. An expensive list of items to procure for a feast. Thank you, Alden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Duvina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the South. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else, that much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The Rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the bishop there. Weapons and supplies, but not enough to arm and feed even the smallest army. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. Here is the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Here is the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. It seems quiet. Where is everyone? What has you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the Red Hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where is this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there.
Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Ah! Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. Wh what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. Dominus autum acceptamentum auto ter liquidia domino. Signatra unis pia et pii sunt simula natura. Sed ic quod est naturae nisis Deus manifestat arbitrium. The bishop's courses. What is that burning smell? I knew I should have left the others. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. Lord above! The, the bishop! No, no. I can't look. Oh, dear lord! A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Ugh, the stench. He looks like suture shit. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. You should let me see them. The Red Hand. I need to leave. Find the pagan! We will burn that sinner just like the others! Stay out of the way, heathen! Too hot! Red hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than and she's letting on.
Be my eyes soon. And... What? Just what do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, Creed. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! <laughs> Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There is no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, by a brand. The Abyss is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim.
The fire cleanses impurities, and it's our duty to purify the future of Jorvik. <laughs> Survey the area sooner. chapter, just as the firebrand says. Aid me, be my eyes. Go, tell them the abbess sent you, and bring the texts here at once. Yes, Firebrand. This fire that burns inside, I've always had it, a longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me, my methods deemed too severe. I was cast out, shunned, scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me, saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. 
The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await. Return to Ljuvina. She'll want to know about Abby's inky books involvement. <gasps> What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abbess, Inkiburg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach know no bounds? None, and it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The Howling Mother takes them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hjor, if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Jorvik's trade depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. The Dogmaster. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yawping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. There must be another way in. Depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these docks. What are you doing? 
You're supposed to be in the market. I know I... I cannot believe this. Black cloth on their stores. It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. You are playing with fire, boy. The needle is known to sting for far less than this. Hey! Going to split you! No way out, rat! You'll only die tired, needing! Odin curse you! Kill! The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. Copper Gate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure. But the needle is calling for more protection. <coughs> Meet me here at night. We will go see him together. Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that. Especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls, eager to spend my gains? You wanna let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the needle. Ah, 
Have you any wine for sale? There's nary a drop in town. Sorry. All the wine's been bought up for the old type beast. Shame. I could do with a cup. But the last this feast is the talk of the town. I am eager for it. Good man, that Alden. This marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. <clears throat> Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. among the rat's needle. Fitting. This area is off limits. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? Oh. All this silverware, some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? Melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it?
I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn, shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Wait a sec! Time has come! <laughs> Finish this in Coppergate Market. Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory! Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I must be careful this operation. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, 
hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house. Gave me hearty meals. A warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness. Compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard. Drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The Dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The Council Seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide Feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rissie. Faravid, Odin, and you're the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the Archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. <laughs> The room to the left. That is where the council will be. A wax seal, similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide Feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. 
Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Feravid is pressing the Council for more silver. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with... Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Got the door. It is loaded with silver. <laughs> there was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him. Not Mayor. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Yor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I'll speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even your? Even your. If he is the vault, I'll not allow him to kill all these people. Juvena. I heard you. Just... Grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now, to speak to the council members. I'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Faravit! A word, if I may. Ah! Drenger! If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I am selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! <laughs> if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. <laughs> Aldon, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I'll fetch you some wine. Uh, no, 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 I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The High Reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Sure, who was that? 
There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the Bolt here. He's someone on the Council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it's important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Of course. Rishia. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Inkiborg collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all. So the wine. Indebted. I'll do as the vault. So like for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle Alden. Go. The guards here are vigilant. Protect the king! Alden, save these breaths. They will be your last. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, 
sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants and priests and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many suns. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Your Lufina, where did they go? Hang on, elderly scum. <laughs> Stretch your wings sooner. Eivor! Over here! Are you all right? We're fine. Faravud and his cars escorted King Richier back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Shit. Conspiring right under our noses. I'll kill him. Brandt was meet Eret or Sarah here. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rissier. Aldon is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Aldon aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes. Though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure half the Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it?
hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harald all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Jor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind, so I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an aid. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. It was rubbish. You have discarded it. It was not rubbish. I intended to use it. Please, calm down. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You'll state your cases and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. 
I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skald? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Greetings. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Set aside you have seen. Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Juvina and Jord's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls.